Hello guys and welcome back to Urge. We are still working on our subclass series and yes, we are still in Cleric because there's seven of them. That's a lot of <laughs> subclasses to go through. Yeah. Next one up on the docket is the Trickery Domain, which to me is one of the more uh, unique, more uh, out of the box of all the Cleric Domains, that's for sure. It's like we had the Nature Domain where you had the Druid Cleric. This is like the Rogue Cleric. This is basically Rogue. This is like Magic. Like the Rogue it, Wizard Cleric. Yeah, this is Magical Rogue Cleric. Yeah. Your first ability, level one, Blessing of the Trickster, which allows you to give, use your action to give one creature, one willing creature that is, advantage on dexterity, stealth specific uh, checks for an hour, which seems a decent level one ability giving somebody advantage on stealth checks for an hour, especially if you got somebody in the party who wears heavy armor and clinks around a lot, or if you just got somebody who just has a really low dex score because they're a big fat beater, or if it's a, you know, a caster who just doesn't, has a low dex, you're trying to be as quiet as you can, you can just every hour just be like, Okay, yep. you're, you're going to have advantage on stealth for the next hour. So, yep. not a bad level one ability. Yeah. It'd be a little bit better if you could use it on yourself, too. Correct. But, it's it's, no, it's not, bad. not bad. All right, at second level, we yep. get a channel divinity ability, which mm -hmm. is invoke duplicity. Yeah, say that three times fast. Yeah. <laughs> um, basically, you can use an action to create an illusion copy of yourself. Yep. And with that illusion, you can move it uh, 30 feet each round as a bonus action. Uh, has to stay within 120 feet of you or it dissipates. Um, also, if you and the illusion are both standing next to a creature, uh, you get advantage on your attack rolls because it's, it doesn't know which one it's coming from, right. the real attack. Okay. And this illusion, it lasts for one minute. Yep. Um, also, you can cast your spells or make them look like they're being cast from the illusion of yourself. Which is the best part. Yeah, it, <laughs> it, it makes it look a lot more like that's the real you than you know the other version. Yep. But... The, it doesn't actually increase your vision or anything because it says you still have to use your senses. Right. So you still have to have visual contact with it. You can't, like, look around a corner with your illusion and cast. You know, you have to still be able to see it yourself or hear it or smell it yourself or whatever. Um, but you can make it look like it's being cast from the illusion of yourself. Right. Help us with the, um, helps with the uh, distracting factor of it. Makes something more willing to just give a little extra defensive help. <laughs> yes, since you don't get the, you know, heavy armor that some of the other subclasses get. Great. And level six... This domain gets a second use of its channel divinity, which lets it go completely invisible for a turn. That's yeah, that's it. It goes, it goes, it goes invisible it's, for a turn. Cloak of Shadows is what it's called. Uh, but you use your channel divinity, you just can go completely invisible for six seconds. Because that's you know, if you're in combat, that's how long they specify in the book. That's how long round of combat lasts. So, nah, not the greatest. You're not gonna get a whole lot of RP use. Out of that, out of it six feels seconds. really bad to use it in combat as well. I think. Yeah. So um, unless you, unless you can really just like your you know guards are chasing you out of town and you can duck a corner and just go like oh, shadows, yeah. And they run by you because they can't see you. That's like, that's yeah. it. <laughs> that's better, better, better hope no one's standing there for more than six seconds. You're just right. gonna pop right back. Right. Like a lot of the other sub domain uh, subclass you know domains for clerics, uh, trickery also gets divine strike. Theirs is poison damage. At level 8, you get to do 1d8 extra poison damage on your melee strikes. At level 14, it does scale extra 2d8 damage on all your melee strikes, which is which is pretty cool. The only challenge is, which is different for this one as compared to like the Tempest and some other ones, is you don't have access to heavy armor. You don't have access to martial weapons like Tempest, Tempest do or like War Clerics do, which we are going to get to next. Um, so you don't get quite that damage buff, and you're not as meaty on the heavy armor side. So this is a decent help on your damage melee wise but you're not as willing to be in the meat of the action because they don't you don't have handy armor proficiency that armor class isn't going to be up in the super high teens and then your capstone ability your level 17 is an improved duplicity it's just going to improve your, uh, your level one ability and basically instead of making one illusion of yourself you can make up to four uh, and you can still use a bonus action to move any number of the illusions to 30 feet as long as they're within 120 feet um, but yeah, you basically just get to make four instead of one. Basically becomes the mirror image spell. Yeah. But being yeah. a... Uh, worse version of but, it. But a worse yeah. version of it at, that doesn't cost you a spell slot, which in theory is a cool idea, but being your level 17 capstone ability, what you're trying to build this whole subclass toward, to me is eh, kind of underwhelming, I think is the yeah. right word for it. Yeah. All right, and now we'll get to the rating scores for this. Again, it's role play value, combat value, and class synergy. Yes. Uh, first up, we have the role-playing value. Yep. This class does have a lot of, even the spells it gets for the domain are yeah. pretty RP-based. Yep. The abilities, you know, you're making illusions, you're, you know, giving people stealth, 
lots of the abilities you're getting besides Divine Strike, basically, yep. are going to have uses for RP. Yep. So we end up giving the Trickery Domain a four and a half yep. out of five. Plus a half. A little half there. <laughs> uh, just because of most of the abilities are, are RP-based. And this is probably one of the more RP-based subclasses in the Cleric. Definitely. Um, so there's that. On to the combat side, where... We had we deliberated a long time. <laughs> what to score this one on the combat side? Ended up going with two and a half, so two and a little wiggler at the bottom. Um, because and really, the, for me, the one reason why it went that high on there is because the domain spells you get not only are they great for the RP side of things. There's a lot of CC, you know, crowd control. Charge my shorthand for people who don't know. Uh, based spells in there, you know, like you know. Being able to do extra stealth things, you know, pass without a trace works to prevent combat yeah. as well. Uh, you know, mirror image, it, making clones of yourself, you know, that that kind of thing. Uh, there, there's there's definitely some good combat use on the CC side. Yep. However, the only damage base ability, being it spell or level of ability you get, is Divine Strike, which makes your melee damage go up. Yeah. But like we said, you, you don't want to. Yeah, you really don't want to be in there. You don't have to because you don't have heavy armor. Yeah. You don't have martial weapons, so you're not using a big giant two-handed sword or a, yeah. you know, a big you know weapon and shield kind of thing. You probably end up on the two and a half side. Yeah. Half they get they get really hurt by not having the heavy armor that yeah the other subclasses get. Right. Uh, lastly, we have the overall class synergy. We're just gonna give this one. Surprise, surprise, a three. <laughs> it's just, with the way clerics are, how open-ended they are, it's really hard to try to, you know, emphasize the base class, just right. because the base class is so open. Yep. Um, so again, like with a lot of the other subclasses, this one's only going to get a three, just because it doesn't really help, doesn't really hurt, just kind of exists yeah, in the it, options. It is there, it's a factual yeah. statement. It's great that clerics can be so versatile with seven, yeah. seven domains to pick from. But you know, there's not a huge build of like what the entire class is trying, the subclass are trying to do together. Versatility is there, but the drawback on the same side, you don't have like that, that min max synergistic, yeah. you know, absolute machine as far as that thing goes. All right, so those are basically our thoughts on the Trickery Domain Cleric. Yep. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please remember to like and subscribe, hit that bell notification so you know when all of our new videos come out. Yeah. If there's anything that you guys want to see, let us know in the comments below. If there's anything that you know what you thought of the video uh, any content you want to see us come out with for D, &D or any other gaming or entertainment yeah. thing you know we're up for it <laughs> um but yeah as always guys thanks for watching